Let's so bring in Donald Trump's campaign manager, Kellyanne Conway, right now. Kellyanne, thank you for joining us again. I know it's an early morning Hi, out there in Las Vegas. I, I want to ask you something about something that, that Donald Trump said in the first debate. He said, if she wins, talking about Hillary Clinton, I will absolutely support her. Last night, he refused to say he would accept the results. What changed? I think it's the same statement in this way, George. He's saying that until the results are actually known, certified, and verified, he's not going to concede an election. He just doesn't know what will happen. I imagine if you had asked Al Gore in 2000 if he was going to respect the election results, he would have said yes. He actually called to concede the election to, to Governor George W. Bush, called back to retract the concession, and then, as you know, George, we had six weeks until the Supreme Court of the United States uh, decided who the next president would be. But I just think Donald Trump is also putting people on notice that if there are irregularities, if there's voter fraud, if there's large-scale malfeasance that's committed, that he's not just going to not want to investigate that. But we have to but see what happens. I think that if you look at his, his first statement and this one taken together, you see somebody who's willing to accept the election absent widespread fraud. But that, that's not what he said. And what you just said, you just said something important right there. You said that Al Gore, if you would have asked him before the election in 2000, will you commit to supporting the winner, he would have said yes, just as every single candidate in American history has. That's not what Mr. Trump did last night. He was asked specifically, are you willing to commit to the principle of the peaceful transition of power uh, that the loser concedes to the winner? And he says, I'll tell you at the time, he wouldn't do something that every other candidate has done. Well, he loves the country, and it's why he ran for president, and he respects the principles of democracy. It's just that he can't say what's going to happen. If the election is very tight, if it's just a few votes here and there, if, as was the case in 2000, George, if one state like Florida is less than 600 votes, as was the case then, we just don't know what will happen. But um, obviously, I think that there were many high notes last night. I really think one very important point that was new is Donald Trump challenging Hillary Clinton to give back the money that her foundation has taken from countries that don't respect women, whereas he said gays are thrown off of buildings and women have no rights. She did not respond to that. I hope the Clinton Foundation will take that seriously and consider giving back the money to countries that do not respect women, especially for someone who says she is fighting for women. And, 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 and we'll, we'll take those questions of the Clinton campaign right there. But let me just, so Mr. Mr. Trump, his position right now is that he's not going to commit to accepting the results in advance of November 8th. That is rock hard. You heard what he said last night. And I think if you take that in combination with his earlier statements that you read, George, you find a candidate who is willing to respect the free and fair democratic process. Uh, but he just wants a fair shot. You know, if you're Donald Trump, you don't get a fair shot most days. We, we saw just this week 96% of donations given by working journalists went to Hillary Clinton. He got 4% of them. We saw just this week you have specific journalists colluding with the Clinton campaign, asking them if they'd like to edit a piece before it's filed or asking if they're upset with a, a particular package that was put on the air, on the TV or radio. And this is not how a full and fair democracy works. And we would just like to have a fair shake most days. So is, is, is he saying that, that questions about press bias are reason enough? to question the results of the election? No, what he is saying is when you talk about a rigged, corrupt system and you talk about somebody who's been there for 30 years as an insider, you can't possibly look at that person and say, there's a change maker, there's someone who's going to adhere to democratic principles, there's someone who's actually going to improve the economy, defeat radical Islamic terrorism, um, make our schools better. I mean, Hillary Clinton last night was, was talking about all the problems we have in this country, people in poverty, millions without health insurance. Those are very serious problems, but if you've been there for 30 years, you can't be part of the solution. You are part of the problem. 19 days left. Hillary, Donald Trump's still behind, according to most polls right now. What more can you all do to shake up this race? So you saw a very strong debate performance last night, George. These polls will tighten. You see Donald Trump uh, flew overnight to get to the battleground state of Ohio. He'll be competing there in North Carolina and Florida tomorrow. We're going to compete in about eight to ten swing states. That's where you see Governor Pence and, and uh, Mr. Trump the next couple of weeks, and that's where you see our investments on ads and our ground game and field operation. We have a couple different paths to 270, and we're going to fight until the last moment to get there. Kellyanne Conway, thanks for joining us this morning. All right. Thank you.